Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to find the vector equation of a plane. So this is where things get really, really interesting and perhaps a little bit complicated, but hopefully it's not that bad. So firstly, what is a plane? Well, a plane, this is kind of my attempt to draw a plane. A plane is a flat surface. Think of it as a flat surface, like your, like a wall is a plane or the ceiling or the floor, um, as long as it's flat. In GeoGebra, it looks something like this. This is a plane. And a bit like a straight line, this kind of goes on forever. If I zoom out, it's always there. Zoom back in again. So this is a plane. Okay, we want to um, we want to find the equation of a plane. So we're going to focus on this one here. In this lesson, in the next few lessons, I'll talk about these two. So essentially, what we need to do, a bit like a straight line, we need to find an equation that will allow us to get to every single point on the plane. Now, let's start at zero. Remember, for the equation of a straight line, we started at zero, and we got to a point on the line. That's the same with the equation of a plane. A is the position vector of a point on the line. So A is on, or, or on the plane. So A is on the plane. And with the straight line, what we did is, we got onto the line and we moved along the direction vector, which in this case would be B, as far or as short as we wanted, so that we got all the points and we had, that's why we did lambda B, lambda was the parameter, it got all the points on the line and we could go this way and we get all the points on the line. Now the plane is similar, but if you just have one kind of direction vector like this, you can only get to a straight line, so you need two. And importantly, the two cannot be parallel, because if C was parallel to B, again, you just end up going this way in a straight line, and you wouldn't be able to get onto the plane. So if C is not parallel to B, and by the way, both vectors have to be parallel to the plane. Now what I mean by that is this. Let's have a look at GeoGebra again. Here I've drawn a vector that's parallel to the plane. So I want you to see it, look, this, Maybe it's not as easy to see. Let's look at it from from above. So there, there's my plane, this kind of straight line. I'm directly above it. And this vector is parallel to the plane. There you can see it again. It is, it is parallel. Let me stop. Let me stop there. Hopefully you can see what I mean by parallel. So you'd have this one and another vector also parallel to the plane, but not parallel to each other. Okay, once I have the two vectors like this that are parallel to the plane but not parallel to each other, I can get to any point on the plane and that's the point, forgive the pun, that is the point of getting uh, of the of the equation. So I can get to, imagine I wanted to get to this point here. I go along B, however many I need to do, and then up C, however many I need to do. And the lambda and the mu will decide how much B's I need to add and how much C's I need to add to get to that particular point. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do two examples. One, we've three points, and this is actually the plane that I've drawn in GeoGebra, but we've three points and I want to get the equation of the plane. And then the second one, I've given you a line and a point and the same thing, we want to get the vector equation of a plane. So what do we do? We need a point and two direction vectors that are parallel to the plane. The point is easy because I have three. I have A, B, and C. I can choose any of them. Let's choose A. The common mistake, a silly mistake I would argue to do or to make is to say, well, this is one of the this is vector B and this is vector C, but that's just not the case. This is a point and this is a point and they're not vectors. And the position, if you wanted the position vector of B, let's say B is somewhere on the on the plane, then the position vector is this and this isn't parallel to the plane. So, well, unless the plane went through zero, 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 but there's nothing that says it does. So that's not a vector. The position vector of B or C is not a direction vector that I can use. However, if A, B, and C, let's say that's A, that's B, and that's C, and they're on the, let's say these are on the plane, well then, any of A, B, let's say that's A, B, and C, any of A, B, B, C, or C, A, 
or the opposite way, you can do AC, um, CB, or BA, whatever. Any of those vectors are parallel to the plane because they're like they're literally on the plane. Okay, so let's do that. Let's find either AB, um, BC, or AC, or any version of them. So let's go. I'm, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go B A. Now again, I could I could have done A B, but I'm gonna do B A because that's A minus B, and I think it just looks a little bit, a little bit nicer. So I have three minus one three. So B A is A minus B. Again, I've said this to you many many times. That is an important rule, and it comes up all the time. So B A minus B. This is one one two. This gives me three minus one is two minus one minus one is negative two, and three minus two is one. There we go. That's the first vector. The next one, um, let's go B, C. B, C. So the reason I, the only reason I've chosen B, C is because these look like nice numbers that I can subtract. But as I say, any of them would have done. So 4 minus 1, 2, because B, C is C minus B. So 4 minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2. And this equals 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 1 minus 1 is negative 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So these are my two direction vectors, if you like, um, b and c. Therefore, equation, equation is or equals position vector of a point on the line. Let's go with a, but again, I could choose any of them. 3, negative 1, 3, plus lambda lambda times this vector 2 negative 2 1 plus mu times let me draw that again mu times 3 negative 2 0 3 negative 2 0 done that's the first one so if i have three points on a plane i can find the vector equation of the plane, provided the three points aren't in a straight line. Because if they're in a straight line, I'm going to have that problem like A, I'm going to have this, this, and I'm going to, the only vectors I get, the only vectors I can get parallel to the plane are all parallel to each other and end up just giving me this straight line. So I need three points, um, one of which is not on the same line. That brings me to my next example. Where I, where I have a point and a line. So if this point is on the line, I won't be able to find the vector equation of the plane. Um, is this point on the line? Uh, no, it's not on the line. Because um, in order for in order to get this point, t would have t would have to be one to get me three at the bottom. So one plus two gives me three. If t is one, it's five plus one equals six, which is four, so that's no good. So at this point is not on the line. Anyway, it says find a vector equation of the, pl of the plane containing the point this and the line this, fine. So I need, so let's remind ourselves, it's or equals a plus lambda b plus mu times c. So I need an a, I need a b, and I need a C. Well, I have an A because the point, the plane contains the point P. So I have A, it's, it's the position vector of P. I actually have a B because this, if, if a line is on, so let's imagine this is our plane here. Let's just say something like this. If the line is on the plane, so let's say this line is going, the, the line is actually on the plane, then the direction vector of the line, like so, this is the direction vector of the line, this is parallel to the plane. And also this point has to be on the, this point has to be on the, um, the plane as well because the line is on the plane so this point is on the plane or this the position vector this is the posi position vector of the point 
technically is the way to say it. Okay, so I have a point, this, or I could use this, but I have a point. I have a direction vector. The only thing I need is my second direction vector. And how do I find that? Well, P is on the plane. Let's say that's P. And this point here, this is on the plane. Let's say it's there. So if I find, let's call this, um, I don't actually want to call it A. Let's just call this, I don't know, let's call it M. So this is the position vector of M. I don't know why I chose M, but whatever. So if I get the direction vector PM, PM, that will give me, PM would give me another vector that is parallel to the plane, which is what I need. So let's find this, it's M minus P, this is M. So it's minus three, five, one, minus P, which is this, um, minus one, four, three, subtract them, minus three plus one is negative two, five minus four is one, one minus three is negative two, like this. This is PM, now I have my, I have everything, I have everything I need, therefore, or equals point, let's go with P, minus one, four, three, plus um, lambda times B, let's go with this, this direction vector, four, one, two, and then plus mu times this one, two, one, negative two. Okay, there we go, that's it. So um, to find this vector equation of the plane in this form, I need, I need the, a point on the, I need a point on the plane, and I need two vectors parallel to the plane, but not parallel to each other. Hope that makes sense. Um, in the next lessons, we're going to look at these these other forms of equation uh, equations of a plane. This one is by far, in my opinion, the best. It's my favorite one to work with. I, I would imagine most people will say it's their favorite one to work with. It's certainly the most kind of concise. If you just type in ax plus by plus cz equals d, where those are numbers into GeoGebra, you'll get yourself a nice plane. I'll explain what all that means in that lesson. Okay, see you then. Um, hope that all made sense.